Well, with the ban on water this summer in Ottawa South, let me tell you, there's been lots of discussion on what the residents there are going to do about getting a, a, a rain barrel to help. But really, you know, even if you're not in Ottawa South, it's really a great investment to make, yeah. for sure. And we're going to tell you how to have a rain barrel that you DIY. And we're joined by Robert Schwartz uh, from DIY Rain Barrels. No, is not it really no, fun I, there, but it's know, a little hobby. Ex I, well, right, it's yeah, a yeah, hobby, yeah. but it, this is something, sort of a concept you've come up with, Robert, and we're thrilled to have you on the show to talk about Thank it because you. as we said there's a lot of people out there that not only a need this but maybe they're on the radar now of maybe doing something like this mm -hmm. even if they don't live in Ottawa South. To, exactly. to, for, let's first talk about the benefits of having a rain barrel for those that don't live in Ottawa South. All right well um, uh, basically storing water has been done for years. Uh, people have been doing it uh, all over the world and especially in more drier climates. Uh, it decreases the demand on city water supply. It's, it's obviously it saves money on your water bill because mm -hmm. it's cheap free yeah. actually. Um, it maintains a healthy soil. The water doesn't have any chlorine in it. Uh, water is much warmer when you go to water your plants and stuff, so the plants are happier. Mm -hmm. Robert, I think for a lot of people too, they're, they're worried about the amount of water that are, that's going to be accumulated here and what they're going to be using it for, whether it's watering their lawn, their garden, and so forth. How much can one of these barrels, on average, really, can you use over, let's say, a week period? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, usage, it really depends on what you're watering. If you're okay. watering, uh, you know, a couple of plants that are on your front steps, that's obviously going to be a lesser amount. Uh, but if you want to water your grass, you obviously need a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, one of the nice things about, uh, well, at least barrels of this size, they're um, <laughs> about 50 gallons. Okay. And um, taking the average rainfall and the average size of a suburban home in Ottawa, you can probably fill about 35 of these every month in the summer in terms of the quantity of rain that we wow. get in Ottawa. So most people who install uh, rain barrels under their downspouts are overflowing them pretty much every time it rains. Right. So there's a lot of water out there to be had. Huh. Wow, okay, that's pretty impressive too. All right, so take us through uh, what you've done here and we'll give everybody a, um, a lesson at home. Sure, so um, this is basically a, a, a recycled container. It's a food grade uh, container. It's actually, it was an old olive barrel. It probably still smells like olives. Okay. Uh, I picked this up at Cohen and Cohen's. Um, they have- Oh, great spot, Cohen yeah, and Cohen. They have a lot of stuff, yeah. They're like a recycling, kind of depot in terms of containers and they have all kinds of different kinds of containers. So uh, I picked this up from, from them, I think it was about 16 bucks. Wow. Uh, drilled a bunch of holes in it and um, it's, it's ready to go. So I have a bunch of components here. I'll talk a, a little bit about um, you know, where you want to place this. Uh, obviously you want, to be, you, you want to put it near a downspout. Right. Um, so there's two downspout mechanisms that, that you have here and it really depends on how close you can get your rain barrel to the downspout. Okay. So a typical downspout might look like this right. where you have the um, water coming down the pipe and then um, an elbow and um, what you'll, this will obviously might be much closer to the ground. What you'll do is you'll end up cutting this pipe here mm -hmm. and uh, doing one of two things. You can either put in um, a downspout diverter like this, which I picked up at Lee Valley Tools for 20 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. um, you cut the pipe, you install this in here, and then it has two outlets where you can hook a hose, or up, actually up to two hoses, and put it right into the rain barrel. Okay. And you can fill your barrel that way. Mm -hmm. Right. The other method, if you can't get your, or if you can't get your barrel much closer to your downspout, this is a good method if you have some trees or shrubs or something in the way of your downspout, and you need to put your barrel maybe four or five feet away. If you can get your barrel right under the downspout, best thing to do is cut it, remove this elbow, and take the elbow, put it where you made the cut, and then one of these can be bought at any hardware store. It's just a flexible downspout diverter. Right. Mm -hmm. You can attach it to here and then curve this any way you want. Wherever you need it. Right. Yep. Wherever you need it to be, basically. Exactly, and okay. have it come right into the rain barrel like this. Okay. So those are the two ways of actually... Um, Robert, because they overflow as well, is it better to put it away from your house? Just because I know some people, you know, don't are worried about the foundation and water getting into the foundation. So would you try to s even stretch it out a little more? Uh, well, or does it matter? If you can get it close to your house, you're good. Um, right. One of the things that I did drill in here, and I don't know if we can see it here, is I did put an overflow port on the side of the rain barrel. And this okay. is an overflow hose. Of course, you can adjust it to, you know, your length. This is just some pump hose and some plumbing fittings. You'd open this up, insert this just into the hole like this. Let's put this down quickly. Oh, I see. Okay. And then this will catch as oh, your yeah. barrel's filling up. Mm -hmm. You'll just route this to an overflow point away from your house. Right. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and you can even have that overflowing right into your garden. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. If you have, if it's close enough. Exactly. Robert, you've brought some images um, of uh, one of the rain barrels in various stages of completion. Why don't we take a look at that, and you can explain uh, what we've what we've got there. This is the first one. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, to dress up your rain barrel. Um, you know, we had just this simple gray barrel that you saw just a moment ago. This is my wife Jen, who's 
starting to spray paint, what we've done, we spray paint one layer of gold or bronze, and now we're spray painting um, the uh, black bands around the barrel. And if we go to the next picture, uh, you'll see basically what the finished product looks like. Oh, so look at that! Wow. Black. So that is, really this, nice. that is this barrel here. You're kidding. But painted with just two different colors of it's plastic shiny paint. shiny and nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the next picture, you'll see sort of the before and after of what the gray one looked like before we painted it. And just at the top there, you'll notice on top of the gray barrel, I installed a little, a little uh, hand pump yeah. with a fountain pump. So it, it actually becomes almost like a, an ornament in our, in our front walkway. Well, there. yeah, so I mean, because oh. if you buy something like this from Conan Conan, as you said, you know, it might not suit your garden. You want it to look nice. So it's nice to see you can really pretty them up like that. Yep, exactly. Sorry, how much did you say the original purchase from Conan Conan was? The barrel itself is about $16. Okay. And then a couple of attachments here. A bunch here. of accessories. I didn't talk yet about the downspout. This would be, or sorry, the, um, the, um, the tap, the tap mm -hmm. which we would, I made a hole for here, and it simply just screws in with a little bit of hardware, mm -hmm. and uh, sorry, I don't know if you got any of this, but That's if, okay. it'll just screw in with a bit of hardware like this, and then you hook up your hose, and away you'd go uh, with that, and you're looking probably at getting all this done for probably under 50 bucks. Wow, nice. everything that you need. Pretty much everything you need, you know, the downspout uh, diverters, um, you know, depending which mechanism you're going to go with. Mm -hmm. Right. The you sump you pump brought hose. these uh, sink strainers oh, yeah. as well. What would you use that for? So yes, thanks you for reminding me of that. So what I did on the top of the barrel, if I couldn't get a hose in, what I'd want to do is drill a couple of holes on the top of this. Okay. And I've actually bought these at a dollar store. These are just sink strainers. Right. And all you do is just pop it into the hole. Maybe use a, um, a screw to hold it down. Okay. You put a bunch of them out here, and when the, when the water is routing onto the top of the barrel, mm -hmm. it just goes right in. Keeps the mosquitoes out. Very yeah, important. Yeah, really important. Also keeps out the debris. Because you don't want that standing water for exactly. sure. Exactly, and also keeps out any debris that's being washed off your roof down to downtown. Right. Tell me, Robert, do you live in Ottawa South? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shocking. I live in Barhaven, actually, yeah. so I've got a few of these puppies on the go, and I, now can I have more more the reason to expand the system. Well, listen, there's a lot of residents out there that are thanking you for this information mm -hmm. because this is a really innovative way to uh, to uh, to sort of get on board. For We've sure. been forced to, but uh, thank you so much for this. This Not is fantastic. Thanks quickly, a lot. I just mention this too. I don't know oh, if we sure. have enough time. Um, this is a, another Very interesting quick, product. Though. Yeah, at um, Lee Valley, this is called a, a um, barrel bench. So basically you'd build a box for it and then put in this bag and with the accessories provided, you have sort of a bench and a barrel all in mm -hmm. one. Oh, oh, cool. Thanks, about thanks a lot, Robert. Bucks, These yeah. are great ideas. Yeah. Like we said, we really appreciate you bringing them to us because I'm sure a lot of people at home are benefiting. We'll be right back after this. You're all going to benefit from a great recipe from Ahmad, the nomad chef. Don't go away.